So this footage of me doing somersaults and subsequently crash landing my drone was filmed using a tripod and the camera shake was added later. There's a really quick and easy way of doing this inside Adobe Premiere using the warp stabilizer effect. So here we are inside Adobe Premiere and this is the footage that we would uh, like to add the camera shake to and as you can see it's uh, perfectly stationary. So we'll just put that in a new sequence. So we right click new sequence from clip. Zoom in on that a little bit. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is nest this. So we're going to right click on it and click nest. And essentially what this is doing is making a sequence inside a sequence. So if I double click on nested sequence 8 you can see that a new timeline has popped up here in the tab. So this sequence is inside this green clip here. So now we're going to need some handheld footage. So if you see here, I've got some uh, video of these trees here that I shot handheld. It really doesn't matter what the video uh, footage is of, as long as it's handheld. Um, it could be anything really. It could be you filming your computer desk um, with your smartphone. It really doesn't matter. As long as the, the image is you know, high quality enough, detailed enough, contrasty enough for warp stabilizer, um, to really get a lock on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this handheld clip over the top of this and just tidy that up a little bit there like so. Uh, and essentially what we're going to do is transfer the motion from this footage to this stationary footage underneath. So let's go back to the original sequence and go to our effects tab and find warp stabilizer there we go and just drag that on there and while that is analyzing our footage i'm going to make some tweaks to the settings here so i'm going to change it from smooth motion i found that smooth motion is a bit too floaty and it just feels a little bit inauthentic so i'm going to click no motion and I'm going to change it from subspace warp, which has a tendency to sort of wibble and bend and, and warp the edges of your frame. So that looks a bit odd, uh, unless, of course, you're going for that kind of effect. But I'm not in this case. So I'm going to click position, scale and rotation, which will prevent that from happening. And now that that's stabilized, if we play that through, uh, we can see that there's very little camera motion on that anymore. Um, so what we're going to do is go back inside the nested sequence and click this little eye icon here on the top layer to hide the handheld footage. And there you have it. Some reasonably authentic looking uh, camera shake has been added to our clip. Really quick and easy and it saves you having to uh, export that or dynamic link that to uh, After Effects or something else.